Welcome back guys. Today we're doing a piece of salmon. It's not very often we do fish on this channel, but I thought I'd give it a go. So I bought myself a nice side of salmon and we're going to trim this up and smoke it in the KJ a Kettle Joe. Come in and let's have a look. We're going to take our salmon out of the pack and we're going to go for some nice finger size pieces but before we do we just want to check down this center section where the bone is just to feel if there's any bones and no there isn't we're going to try and trim this up a little bit I'm going to take off a bit of this belly fat section I'm going to trim the other side Dave is absolutely going crackers over here and we'll trim off this tail section I think if we cut somewhere here and then beautiful bite-sized pieces and cut that down the middle help if I went through with the knife got some beautiful little nuggets of salmon we're going to be smoking these in the Kamado Kettle Joe as I said and we're going to be doing it over our cedar plank so I've had my cedar plank soaking in that water all day I'm going to pop that in our Kettle Joe over the heat deflector just in the center of the grill and start to preheat that up. We're going to be cooking around 100 degrees Celsius today, guys. We want to take it nice and slow to infuse some smoky goodness into these pieces of salmon. And down in the coals, I have popped a piece of beech wood, which is a nice subtle flavor to go with the um, salmon. Do you think Davey Dave wants a piece? Dave. There's some salmon. Mm. Dave already approves of the salmon. So while that salmon is sat on the side, let's get on and make a teriyaki sauce. Yes, guys, homemade teriyaki sauce coming up. I'm going to start this teriyaki sauce with three cloves of garlic and equal size piece of ginger and we're going to slice them up nice and fine so we've got our garlic and ginger nicely chopped up let's get our stove lit up and our cast iron pan on and let's start with a nice glug of rapeseed oil nice and nutty just going to let that warm through The oil's coming up on this temp, guys. So we're going to take our garlic and ginger, scrape it into the oil. We'll give that a quick fry. Into the pan next, we're going to add one cup of raw cane sugar. And into that, we're going to put one cup of low sodium soy sauce. Give it a nice stir, guys, to dissolve all of that sugar. We're then going to take two tablespoons of mirin or a sweet rice wine vinegar. Two teaspoons of sesame oil. Give that a good stir, guys. I'm going to bring this up to the boil and get that syrupy bubble going. So we have a nice syrupy bubble going. 
but you want your teriyaki sauce nice and thick and sticky and we don't want to boil it down too much to, to get it nice and thick we've got three tablespoons of cornstarch three tablespoons of water so we're going to add that into the bowl we're going to give it a nice quick whiskey whiskey don't add the cornstarch straight in there else you'll be fighting the lumps take the lumps out in the uh, bowl and then pour into your teriyaki sauce and then we're going to whisk and boil until it starts thickening up it'll probably take a couple of minutes guys two minutes has passed guys and look how beautiful and thick our teriyaki sauce is now oh my god that's absolutely stunning it's time to take it off the heat and we're going to bottle it up save one of my favorite uh, bottles some jack daniels barbecue sauce i'm going to take our sauce transfer it all into a jug And taking me jug, I'm going to fill my bottle, and this will store for weeks in the fridge. There you have it, guys! Beautiful homemade teriyaki sauce in a beautiful bottle. Before we transfer this salmon into the grill, I'm going to give it a little season with some Larry's sea salt. Not a great deal because we've got that uh, teriyaki sauce to go on afterwards, but just enough to give it a little bit of flavour. See, beautifully coated up. I'm going to take our pieces of salmon now. We've got our cedar plank. It's going to act as a heat deflector itself. It's got plenty of moisture in there, so it's going to keep this fish nice and moist. And it's going to impart, hopefully, a beautiful, silky, sweet smokiness into this salmon. I'll get on and transfer these to the grill. So with a bit of arranging, guys, we've got this salmon sat on this cedar plank in the centre of the grill. We're going to keep the temperature, like I say, nice, low and slow. 100 degrees Celsius, get near to that internal finishing temper for the fish, around 60 degrees Celsius, we're going to start to just glaze and finish off with that beautiful homemade teriyaki sauce. The salmon's been on for around 45 minutes now, and it's just starting to probe at 55 degrees Celsius. So you can see all them egg whites coming out of the bottom. I think it's time to take some of that beautiful teriyaki glaze and start to glaze up these finger bites of salmon get plenty on guys let it all run down the sides just enough and let that set up and then before we take it off we're going to give it one final glaze there goes dave chasing the squirrels i'll shut the lid guys see you shortly one last thing guys just to give that last bit of flavor i'm going to hit these with some untoasted sesame seeds i'm going to just leave these just to finish off in the grill but not only they're going to add some flavor but i think they make them look pretty sexy beautiful and close up that lid i'll keep checking that temp when we get to that 60 degrees i'm going to pull them and pop them on the board
the salmon look absolutely beautiful they've been on total cook time just over an hour and 10 minutes and they've reached the internal temp of 60 degrees so it's time to pop them off now i don't know the best way of taking them off so i'm going to try with me spatula so i do not want to damage these beautiful little nuggets there's probably too much light getting onto that at the moment but beautiful little nuggets of salmon that we're going to take off and transfer onto our uh, serving board I'm going to get on and I'll bring you over when I've got them off the barbecue. Just like that, guys. Served up. On a beautiful platter they would make a great little appetizer great sharing platter so i'm going for a taste test and they are still on the skin i'll try and get that skin just off the back davy dave will come in i'm sure and try that but the beautiful flaky salmon God. Sticky. Sweet fish. Dave. Thumbs up from Dave. That's a thumbs up from Dave and all guys. Mm. Delish. I hope you've enjoyed this cook. It's a super quick, easy one. Fish is something that I'm new to. I'm trying it out on the channel. So if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. It really will help the channel grow. Smash the subscribe button, guys. And check out my other video over here.